Fox News uh, op-ed says atheists are bullies who try to force their beliefs on others. Anthony DeStefano, op- uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Anthony DeStefano's op-ed for Fox News claims that atheists are responsible for the vast majority of humanity's suffering, death, war, and destruction. There's no polite way to say it. <clears throat> atheists today are the most arrogant, ignorant, and dangerous people on earth, DeStefano says. Adapted from his book, Inside the Atheist Mind, Unmasking the Religion of Those Who Say There Is No God, De Stefano shares a myriad of examples of not only how terrible atheists have been all through history, but also how today's atheists are bullies who try to force their beliefs on others. That's amazing. This is so, yes, this we is we are the ones who are trying to force our beliefs on you. Absolutely. I can't believe they get to, they 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 say this with a straight face in a country like United States. Oh well, yeah. Well, Sean Hannity also says that Trump's a great president with a straight face. So. Well, let's focus on the, the atheism and Christianity because Christ, like these these people actually have they claim at the same time that the laws of this country, which is bullshit, is based on Christianity, and also atheists are bullies. I mean, if your laws of this country was based on Christianity, then you are the fucking bullies. Like these are people that have so much privilege for so long that they can't even hear themselves. When, when people are making a little bit of a pushback against their dominance, they're like, oh, you're being bullied. Yeah, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, the, this, this DeStefano guy, I just debated this guy who goes by the name of Max Colby. His name is Dean Esme, and he runs Red Pill Religion. And this is the exact same bullshit diatribe that he tries to spill. So, I mean, De Stefano, I don't know if you're a big fan of Atheist Republic, but I have no problem setting you straight because this is some <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, but let, let's fuck. Let's focus on Fox News. This is an op-ed. That they wrote? <laughs> yeah, this is an op-ed by oh. Anthony DeStefano. That's... Oh, this is the guy that wrote the op-ed. <laughs> well, this is the guy who who wrote the book. This is. Oh. Uh, Can we have uh, him on Atheist yeah, he... Republic? Can you reach out to him? <laughs> let's reach out to him. Yeah, let me reach yeah. out because I'm like the opposite of evil. I don't know where he goes. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you do that. You know, <laughs> you know the interesting thing is that what he's cl- we are like as anti-religion as it gets, right? And we don't talk about Muslims and Christians the way this guy is talking about atheists, right? Like we are against p- the Christ- Christianity and Islam, but we don't think Christians are all, all bullies or evil, and we don't think Muslims are all evil. Or, like we just think we are wrong, right? Um, and the way he talks about, like, it's interesting that the way he talks about atheists, it go like makes him look like a bully while he's calling atheists bully. Like he's being an asshole. The way he talks about a whole group of people. And the the interesting thing is that we are so, like on Atheist Republic, for example, we call out. We don't claim atheists are all good. Right? We don't uh, we don't generalize Muslims. We don't generalize Christians. We don't generalize Hindus. We don't generalize atheists. We don't think we're better. We just want to be treated the same. We just want to be treated the exa- and we we also f- have our own fair share of assholes. And the thing is that every group has its own fair share of assholes. And people point when people are against what you stand for, they will point at the assholes in your community to make a claim about your entire group. But but well, we, and, yeah. What's what, what's what's crazy is that he the article ends with with De Stefano's quote saying that there's only one way to deal with bullies, referring to atheists, saying even in this politically correct world, and that is to stand up to them and fight them, to fight them in a bold, aggressive, and fearless Wait, way. And when to were fight atheists them now? When were atheists protected by the PC culture? We were not. What the hell? Like we were atheists were not. Protect like when were people sensitive about? We mean people have been uh, anti atheist forever. There were never a sensitivity. Uh, yes. You know what the and, hell is he and, talking and about? And we, if you can blame the actions of of Mao Zedong, of Pol Pot, of of all these other atheists that have yes committed terrible atrocities but not in the name of atheism however i can point you in the direction of many people who have done atrocious things in the name of god it's so it's so weird to me that the way that they defend religion 
is looking at people that are not religious that have committed crimes as if we are saying that religion is the only way that you could commit crimes. Nobody make that claim. There are other shady. Like, is that is that really the standard that you that they want to adhere by? That okay, religion is not the only way people could commit atrocities. Nobody said it is. I mean, whoever said it's wrong. Obviously, there are other shitty ideas that people use as well for committing uh, major crimes in history. Your your religion is just one of the on the list. Yes, there are other communism is another one, right? Uh, but the the fact that that's the standard that oh look okay so the, what I say okay Ma Mao was didn't believe in God, but guess what? He also didn't believe in Peter Pan. I bet he also didn't believe in Peter Pan. And I think he also didn't believe in leprechauns. So maybe his lack of belief in leprechauns was the reason he committed all those crimes. No, no. The, what, what they're claiming, <clears throat> they're not claiming they point, this because of a lack of God. But they're not claiming that people did this because of a lack of God. They're claiming that, that people did this because of atheistic dogma. Mm -hmm. They believe that people did this because they were atheists specifically. I am saying it's because they're their lack of belief in leprechauns prove me wrong <laughs> <laughs> right but 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 what i'm saying is that their argument isn't that they did it because of their lack of a belief in their god isn't atheism atheism is lack of belief in god well well no that's that's no, lack of you can be an atheist <laughs> bad, right? right you can be an atheist and do something bad but you're not yeah. necessarily doing it in the name of atheism yeah, I understand exactly. that, but I'm just saying it's so bizarre that that's the, uh, like, if I, if I say, um, I don't know, um, Jim, you're, 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 you're getting fat because you're eating a lot of cake, right? Stop you know, eating oh. cake, it's not good for you, right? And you to point to, I don't know, another person and say, like, look, they're eating donuts every day, and they're not eating cake, and they're also getting fat. So, it has nothing to do with me eating cake. I like, well, donuts also make you fat. Like, what the hell? <laughs> so, it, I mean, just because, yeah, a religion is shitty, and there are other ideas that if you follow, it's all sh shitty and could cost a lot of lives. We, didn't ne we never said religion is the only source of uh, genocide. Never ever say that. Okay. Um, top comment. Let me read the top comment. Um... Meg Megan is, I mean, sorry, no one ever said that. No one's saying ever said that. Megan is an atheist, don't have belief. Uh, we have facts. Ah, no, see, this is this is not right. There are many atheists that are idiots. It's true. Many atheists don't, are not, are, don't have facts. Many atheists believe in shitty other views. Don't, we, we, we don't want it to claim like, hey, atheists are better in every way than n religious people. It's not true. We just got one. Atheists are people that got the answer to one question right. And that question was, is there evidence for God? And their answer was no. It's very likely that they're wrong about a shitload of other things. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي podcast باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.